Hi there, I'm Justin Weldon. Um, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use Metasploit through Kali Linux and Windows XP. So, a uh, little bit of a background of the environment. We've got a Windows XP machine operating on a, obviously a virtual machine on our um, Mac. Um, if we go into system, we can see it's a Service Pack 2 machine. Uh, this is just basic testing purposes. We don't want to do anything hectic, so we're just going to be showing you a standard version of XP. Okay, my first initial step is to get my IP address of the target machine. We'll be referring to the Windows XP machine from here on out as the target machine. In my command prompt, I can type ipconfig, which will then give me the IP address of this machine, which as we can see is 10.211.55.22. Okay, then I'm going to scroll again. To my right side, I keep my Kali Linux machine, which will be my, um, basically my exploit. It will deliver the exploit to the, the target machine. Okay, so here we go, our Kali Linux. Okay, we want to do the same this side. We want to first make sure that our two PCs can see each other before we proceed. Obviously, if they cannot see each other, we cannot continue. So I'm going to be with that with the ifconfig command. And that will bring me my little details of my net, my Ethernet at the moment. Um, as the top here, we can see our IP address is 55.23. Now what I want to do is I want to go back to the, the, the XP machine, the, the target machine, and I want to ping that address just to make sure that I can actually see that IP address before we proceed. And that's it, the two are communicating to each other as we can see. Now just to make sure, which obviously would be, I just want to ensure that I can do that in my Kali Linux machine. Dot .55.22 dot and there we go, we can see the, each of the machines. I'm just going to cancel out of that. I'm going to close off my terminal from Kali Linux. Okay, now that we know that our two machines can see each other, we can proceed with an attack. I'm going to do the standard attack um, through Metasploits. So what I want first want to do is actually want to begin the Metasploits service. It's going to mean Kali Linux, System Services, Metasploits, and start the service. Um, don't worry about this. This could take up between three minutes or so to complete, but shouldn't be a problem. This has been working from the go. And then we've got our service started. Then what I want to do is I want to start my Armitage, um, Armitage service. This is basically going to help me deliver the payload to the target machine. So let me start Armitage, hit enter. Should come up with a little JavaScript this wants to begin a server. There's it there. We want to use the MSF, connect. Um, just say yes. Okay, this will basically get all the services started for me to order to run my, my Metasploit. It's a Java application, so it takes a bit of a while to initialize and get running. Um, let me just tell you more about the target machine and the actual scenario that we've actually set up for ourselves. Uh, one of our clients is a DVD rental company, and they've been stealing his information from him, and he doesn't understand how they're stealing his information. And upon investigation, we could see that the software engineer that installed the DVD service actually disabled their firewall and has yet to update the antivirus. So this is extremely exploitable, especially through the service pack. And we're going to be taking advantage of that. Like I said, this is demo purposes. Nothing's going to be too perfect, but we're just going to show you the basics of Metasploit through Kali Linux. Let me go back here. Okay, we still haven't started our service. Once this has started, however, it will pop up and it will give us the interface that we'll be working through to deliver our exploits and get into our payload. Um, payload, a payload will basically be a tool that will be used to deliver whatever commands we want to to the target machine. Um, this will allow us then to take control of that target machine and do what we want on it. Okay, Armitage is going to take two or three seconds to begin. Leave command, command prompt open. It's running Armitage now, so if we close that off, we close Armitage, and we don't want that. Okay, so this is the service that's going to begin. I'm running two virtual machines off uh, an SD card, so I don't think that's very good for my speed. Um, but that's not an issue, we'll get past that. Okay, so as you can see, we basically delivered with our interface over here. Um, on the left-hand side, we've got our exploits, our payload tools, our post tools. Um, let me just let, give this time to boot up com entirely. Okay, there we go. And our exploit tools, you'll see here we've got a wide range of exploits available for different operating systems, different versions. So I'm going to go into Windows, and through Windows I'll see each another section of broken down exploits. And commonly we use is a browser folder. It's obviously all folderized. 
and this literally gives us all our exploits available at this moment to us within Metasploit. So whatever Metasploit has been updated, these will be updated. Double clicking one will simply give us a little bit of a description about that exploit um, and tell us what the exploit does, what vulnerability it takes care of, and oh, my PC is terribly slow. Just give that time to load. The two are running separately, it's very strange. Let me just close with command prompt over there. Okay, we'll get back to that now. We're gonna be showing you anyway with the SMB that we're gonna be we're gonna be exploiting. Which is just extremely slow. Okay, there's a little bit, I don't know what happened there, we just need to obviously refresh something. Anyway, let's go to our target machine. Okay, so now we know our target, we're going to go hosts. We want to add a host, because now we know what our host IP address is, so we can add to 211.55.22 if I'm not mistaken. We'll just check that now when I add it. No, let's double check that quickly. The 22. Okay, they did add our host. Okay, so we've host added our host now, which would mean we've added the target machine. As you can see, it's black here in the corner, which means we first need to add an operating system to our, or first detect what operating system is currently being used by this machine. So what I'm going to do on it is I'm going to right click I don't know why this is being so extremely slow. Hmm. I don't know if the screen recording process is also putting a bit of strain on the, the machine. Yeah, come on. Every time I seem to click on that computer, it wants to go off. Okay, as you can see, we've got the last IP address that we've just added as .22. So our first step is going to be to right-click on this address, or my bad, say hosts at the top here, once we've clicked on it. We want to do an nmap scan for a OS detect. What this will basically do is it will detect the operating system that this machine is running on, and thus come up with the exploits available for that operating system. 
So first it's going to just scan all open ports available to it and whatnot. We'll give that a few minutes just to run through. And that's that. So we can now see the scan is complete. What we need to do now is find exploits to according to that target machine. And we can see that it's popped up notifying us that it is a Windows XP machine. Okay, so once we have our device recognized as an XP machine, we can go for attacks, find attacks. What this will do is it will run that whole catalog on the left hand side of exploits onto the device and see what is available to us, what ports are open to exploit, software that's exploitable, all those type of things. And once we get, we can see that there's an attack menu now attached to our address. So if you right click again, we can go and attack. And there's all our exploits that are available on this machine. So I'm going to use a common exploit called the MSO867 Net API exploit. This exploits a SMB protocol in Windows XP. And if I wanted to read about it, I could read about it up top here. It will give me a little bit more details. But I'm just going to go ahead and launch this attack. So my attack will see we're running in console, setting the play log, um, and standing the vulnerability sent to the vulnerability and our exploit has begun as we can see up the top here we've got a meter a red uh, icon around it saying that this machine is now exploited if i right click on it again i can see a meter pre service this is my payload service and this is from here where the danger gets involved what i can do from here is i'm able to access it i'm able to escalate my own privileges dump hashes pass sessions in my interact, I'm allowed to get to shell or VNC, which means I can actually see what my client is doing. If I want to explore, this is where it gets a bit dangerous if you keep uh, important files on your PC. Let me just make this a bit bigger. But exploring, what I am able to do here is get a, actually a directory list of what's on this PC. So let me go and first get, um, there's loading my system32 folder. And from here on, I'm pretty much able to access the PC, what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. So I know that he keeps his invoices on his desktop, so I'm going to go to his desktop. Uh, one. Sales reports. And there's my client's invoices. I can then download this and store it on my own PC. Okay. What do you have to do? What do you have to do on YouTube? I'm going to upload my video yeah, to YouTube. I want to move. I have I should buy a printer. Oh. So it's okay. Um, like my document asked me to what's my What? Hello. Um. 